In this session, we are going to look at uh, how we can level or profile resources. And uh, this is an extremely important function which a scheduling engineer has to do on a project. And uh, let us take a look at some of the uh, basic requirements and what, what happens when we try to level resources. So the topics for today are uh, given in this slide. We will first look at uh, basically, you know, what, what are the requirements to level resources on a project. And then we will look at different kinds of uh, resource profiles and the simplification uh, required. Go to uh, different leveling approaches and we'll spend some time with uh, a very uh, simplistic approach uh, called the minimum moment algorithm and then work a few examples to show how the minimum moment algorithm can be applied. Now, when we take a look at uh, resource profile, I think from the earlier lectures, uh, you all should be familiar with uh, what we are do doing the resource histogram. So here we have uh, four histograms of different shape. And what we have on the x-axis here is the is of course the time. And this has been the, the level of resources that are going to be uh, deployed. So if we say, let's say one to 12 is that is 12 months of the year for, for a given year. And uh, we take these four histograms. Now, what is the requirement? What do, you, what, what do we think a project would want? So this is a key question. And uh, if you take a look at the four, you know, you might come out with an answer of, you know, one, two, three, or four. But actually, if you get onto a project, you might find that uh, any of these are, could be applicable to a particular project. Okay, so if you take, for example, the first one is a perfectly level resource. This would, what we call an ideal case. Uh, we might like to have this in some in a project. Of course, it's ideal, but hey, you know, if you want something ideal, this is what we could probably try to aim. And in the rest of the lecture, we'll say that this is what we want to aim for in kind of a theoretical profile. So if you take the second profile, okay, which is kind of going this way, where in the beginning of the project, we don't have that much load of resources. As the project progresses, we significantly increase, and as the project decreases, we reduce the resource uh, resources on the project. So in many projects, this is, this is considered to be what is required. That is a steady increase and then a decrease. And this from mobilization point of view, during the beginning, you cannot easily mobilize things. But as you go on, uh, you might find that you know, the, the, the project pace picks up. And then as the projects get to closure, it slowly starts down. And this is also an acceptable profile. Uh, in many cases, sometimes a practical profile of what people, what, what a project manager would want to do. Now we come to another case here. Okay, where uh, we, we are now having a profile which is kind of varying and we might say, oh, is this something which we want to do? Now, uh, if you kind of take weather into account and, uh, you know, when I can actually do construction and when I can't do construction, might be such a profile will, will suit my climatic conditions. So here we would say that probably, you know, January, February, I know it, in this region, I might not be able to do that much work. Whereas coming into March and April, I'm mobilizing more people to do more work. Coming into summer, I might do less, monsoon even less. And then, you know, in, in August, September, October, I might try to do maximum and then taper down again towards the end of the year. So the point of bringing this up is to say that, look, this, then all the weather condition is different in the southern hemisphere. They might follow a different pattern. You know, if it is far north, it might be a different pattern. So in many ways, a resource profile uh, you know, can, can really be based on what the project requires. So while this is an ideal profile, something like this is also something which might be is optimal for a project. So we have to kind of understand what the project requirements and are depend and then choose a profile. Now you might find that uh, the fourth profile which you are shown here where the resources rise, you know, then it kind of peaks towards the end and then the project completes. Might be uh, this is what happens on many of our projects where things don't become clear, scope changes, all these issues take place, and then it's only towards the end uh, that you know, most of the work gets done. This is not an ideal profile. It causes a lot of problems, uh, you know, but might be this is, uh, this is how things are going to work out for a particular project where uh, you know, design is changing and things are, uh, you know, are, are all kind of fluid till the end. So the point of the slide is to say that 
if you, when you look at a practical project, there can be various profiles which are optimal for the project. And uh, while we will probably narrow in on this as our kind of a theoretical profile with what we want to work with, any of these other profiles are possible. And uh, it is quite challenging to actually fit your uh, resource plan to a profile which would be suitable for the project. Okay, And one thing we want to say, when we are going towards the ideal profile, which is rectangular, if you don't try to profile your resources, you might land up with what we are showing here as a random profile. And if, you, if, if, if my resources are going to do this, uh, you know, and then this is going to be extremely difficult to manage. And uh, you certainly don't want this. And in, in, the, in, the, in, in comparison with something like this, this is something which we would want to try to achieve. So, uh, in the context of what we are kind of going to cover, we are going to move, to try to move uh, our either early start or, bit, or, or a profile between early start and late start to get as close to what we are calling the ideal profile here as possible. So, you may recall we did the, this uh, a couple of lectures back when we looked at one of the reasons for leveling or was to look at over allocation. So here we had over allocated resources, okay, here, and we then wanted to move this over allocated resources to this area where uh, there, was, there was still room to take in more resources. And, uh, you know, as, as a result of that, we got a perfectly level, theoretical, but perfectly level profile, which resolved the over allocation problem also. So when we're talking about resource leveling, we are talking about leveling profiles like this, not necessarily with respect to overallocation, but just the fact that I have variations going on in each place and I cannot handle variations. I would like to it to be, in fact, this is not as desirable as this is, even though there's a variation, it's a smooth variation. Having random variations like this is not what we would, uh, we would want on a project. So we are trying to take it from, from this profile here, which is random to ideal. And beyond that, we have to see whether if this resolves over allocation issues, that is also beneficial to us. 